Good morning, ESM. I'm Elena, and today I'll be telling you about the newest food market, the Salt City Market. More on this after our top stories. Samuel E. Wright, the voice actor of Sebastian the Crab, has died at 74. Wright, the two-time nominee, passed away after a long battle of prostate cancer. Wright often appeared on Broadway in shows such as Lion King, but, the, but best known as the 1989 portrayal of the Jamaican Crab. He will be missed by family, friends, and fans alike. Yesterday, an 18-year-old Zara Gooden was arrested for fatally shooting a 25-year-old Aslaic P. Parham last December in Syracuse. Police responded to the shooting about 1.44 a.m. in the 200 block of Evelyn Avenue. Officers have found the Parham had been shot in Volatin Road and fled the scene on foot. He was taken to Upstate University Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. After investigation, Gooden was arrested and charged with second-degree murder, second-degree criminal possession of a weapon, and resisting arrest. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you are planning to stay after for extra help, please remember you need to sign up for it online. Transportation has to make sure that they have enough buses to accommodate everyone. That is our first announcement. There is also a guest a teacher to win a Sweet Frog gift card. Fill out the form in the G-Wing. Students with the most correct guesses will win a Sweet Frog gift card. Turn in your forms into Miss Saya at G9. And so, like I said, I'm going to be talking about the Salt City Market. So, this market is located in downtown Syracuse. And it has many different vendors from everything from Thai to Vietnamese to Jamaican food. And it is great. I got Vietnamese food from Mama Hai's kitchen. And I got Thai noodles. They had tofu and vegetables with them. And they were delicious. They're unlike any noodles I've had before. And I, so <laughs> I also got... Rolls from Firecracker Thai Kitchen. This is a different restaurant. And these rolls are like fried and they have a sweet dipping sauce and they are amazing. And these are the rolls with the dipping sauce on them. So yeah, those are those rolls and I also got the noodles. And these are from Firecracker Thai Kitchen. So enough about the food, I could go on for hours about it. Let's move on to weather. the owner of Mama Hai's, which is the Vietnamese restaurant, and I asked her about some of the challenges she's had to face with COVID. recipes? Is it all just like throwing and you know throwing stuff? Yeah, she, she would just show us you know how to do things like in person. We've never written any recipes down. Yeah. It's the first time I actually started writing recipes. I feel like it's better that way too. Like when you don't have a recipe and you're just throwing stuff together it tastes good. And well, I mean, like, also a lot of the stuff my mom teaches it's by feel. So even if you have a recipe, even if she gives you the recipe, you won't be able to cook it. Yeah. Because even if you follow directions, you still don't know how the texture is when you touch it and everything. That's like with sauce, when you make the Italian sauce and everything. So, 
What's your guys' biggest challenge you've had to face with the coronavirus and everything? Um, I, I think it's the hardest thing is mostly communicating with the customers because you have the mask and you've got the plexiglass. So it's like half of the time you can't hear each other or they're conveying, they're speaking, but you can't hear them yeah. uh, as well. And then I think another thing is you can't recognize your customer because everyone's a couple. And so sometimes I'll memorize like their coat or their hat. But then when it got warmer, they didn't wear that coat or that hat, and I didn't know who they were. No, it's going to be weird when we don't even have them anymore. Like, seeing everyone's face, like, that's going to be so weird. Yeah, so it's, hard. it's been hard because, like, you know, so now it's like, you really have to pay attention to their eyes, their voice, their order, and that's how you remember them. Yeah. That's not always easy because, you know, sometimes people have the same names, too, so. Yeah. And for people just coming to your store, is there like a favorite item you recommend? Um, I would say our best seller is, for people who eat meat, it's definitely the Marco Polo. Mm -hmm. For folks who are vegan, definitely the mixed meat noodles. Yes, that is delicious. I just had that. <laughs> Very good. All right. to 102 to tie up the series one to one. Anthony Davis scored 34 points in the victory. Devin Booker scored 31 points in the loss for the Suns. The softball team scored a total of 50 points yes between their two games yesterday against Syracuse City. Olivia Goff scored one home run and Natalie Quant scored two home runs. The baseball team lost to Oswego again 11 to 10. The girls lacrosse team lost to JD 19 to 3. Emma Beal scored all the, of the girl, goals for the girls. The boys lacrosse team also lost to JD last night, 20 to five. The girls golf team also lost to JD. Speaking of JD, the girls and boys track team have a meet against JD at home at five. The boys tennis team have a match today at Fulton at 4.30, and the boys baseball team plays at home today against FM at 4.45. The wrestling team has a match against Central Square and Ch at Chicken Chittenango at five. And I'm Aiden with your sports. So for those who want to go to the market, it's open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9 and Sunday from 11 to 5. The menus of all the vendors are available online at saltcitymarket.com. And definitely make sure to head over for some great food. I was definitely happy with what I got. And I think it's a wonderful way to support an independent local business. So for me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great Wednesday.